What's good YouTube? Slend Revolution X here coming to you guys today with a uh, another edition of Slendy Talks and what I'm doing for you guys today is a locals report. Uh, went to locals today. We have at Vortex Games every Saturday. Um, I recently moved to Florida uh, and for a few months and was kind of trying to find a locals to go to. Uh, Vortex is right down the road for me. It's a really really good locals uh, with some really strong players there. Um, but today, uh, I finally was able to take first place after Swiss at the locals. So, um, basically, I went X1 uh, with the World Chalice Orcus deck. Uh, it's changed a little bit since you guys uh, saw the deck profile that I put up on YouTube. Um, but, basically, the basic structure of the deck is the same. Um, a little bit of backstory for this. Uh, the past two locals I've gone to, um, I lost... I lost every dice roll. I don't know how that's like mathematically possible, um, or like what that like the odds of that happening are. Uh, but it happened. Uh, five rounds two weeks ago. Five rounds last week. Lost ten dice rolls in a row, um, and then lost. Didn't win a dice roll today until round three. So thirteen dice rolls in a row playing Yu Gi Oh over the past three weeks is kind of what I've been facing. Um, so I hadn't been doing very well. Uh, I was kind of, I didn't, I don't want to say losing faith in the World Chalice Dorcas deck, but my issue was, is I felt like I hadn't seen what the deck can do. Um, because losing the dice roll in the game today, it's such like a, it's such a struggle to try to fight through something, a fight through boards. That's one of the reasons that I wanted to pick Orcus, because I think the Orcus deck can fight through builds. Uh, bo like built boards uh, pretty well uh, but you know there's only so much you can do like you, uh, there's a lot of pendulum players there and a pendulum full board is really really hard to fight through um, that was actually my one loss today was a was against a pendulum player that I uh, lost the dice roll to and so you know game one he makes full board uh, game two, I make full board. Game three, he makes full board. I try to push through it. He plays around sphere mode. Uh, I don't draw sphere, or I don't play sphere mode. So I was kind of excited because I had the evenly matched. Well, I'll talk, I'll talk about that when I get through what the rounds were. So round one, I played heroes. Uh, he let me go first, which is kind of strange. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I haven't played against the new hero deck yet so i i wasn't sure what to expect uh i didn't open up great i think i ended up on like a traditional uh orcus board with d it was like decode talker one negate babble uh galtea with the live dinky room grave um but i think it was enough to out what he had uh game two he decided to go first uh i Opened evenly, I want to say, and then, uh, no, he, I didn't open evenly. He was able to, what did he do? He was able to put Dark Law on board, oh, uh, he put Dark Law on board, I did open evenly, uh, so, uh, went straight into battle phase, you know, six cards in hand, activated the evenly, he... Uh, change, change the mass change to the, um, to the evenly matched to, you know, try to resolve his, um, shadow mist to get the effect. Uh, that was fine. Uh, so I was basically walking into a board of just Dark Law. I uh, was able to just go into Cerberus, destroy the Dark Law. I think I ended up making some plays. I want to say he had two cards in hand. I ended up making... I had, like, a really small Orcus board. I want to say it might have just been Galate with a lapped in Gearsu and Grave. Uh, but, and, like, the Babylon board. But it was enough to beat him there. Round two, I played another hero player. Uh, he was... Game one, he... Trying to think. Game one, he set up with Dark Law. I ended up pushing through the board. One game one. Game two, uh, I sided in... The evenly matched. Uh, I sided in Twin Twister, which was a issue that I probably shouldn't have done. Because 
A lot of the spell and traps in the hero deck are reactive. Things like Mass Chains, things like Super Volley, stuff like that is reactive. So even if you try to tw Twin Twister it, they're going to like have opportunities to resolve those cards. Uh, so, um, but he ended up making a board. I ended up pushing through it. I beat that player 2-0. Uh, round 3 is when I played the Pendulum player. Uh, lost the dice roll there. I'm telling you, losing the dice roll so many times, like I said, I was losing not necessarily faith in the deck, but I just, I wasn't sure what the deck could do, and now after, you know, getting the opportunity to maybe go first, or people allowed me to go first, because I know the deck has, has gas, I know it's got gas, I know it can put, put a big board together, that's really tough, um, a lot of people sleep on World Legacy World Chalice, uh, not knowing that it has an on-field effect, uh, and I'm sorry, like, if you're a Orcus player and you lose the Cerberus, it, you, it's so hard to recover from that. Like, so uh, back to just back to the tournament report itself. So pendulum player, he goes full pendulum board. I say, all right, let's just go to game two because I I didn't want him to know what I was playing, and I kind of wanted the the element of surprise with the special summons or with the um, side deck. So um, going first, I side in triple eradicator. And, uh, anti-spell fragrance. Uh, probably not, uh, the spell fragrance is probably something that I wouldn't play, uh, if there wasn't, if I wasn't running into the locals, uh, and them having so many true Draco and so many, um, pendulum decks, like, just because I, I, I had to tailor it for what I was going to be playing. So, um, yeah, sided in the three eradicator and the three, and the two, uh, anti-spell. Uh, didn't see any of them, but, uh, game two went full board. Uh, he wasn't, he pendulum summoned and I was able to use the, uh, World Legacy World Chalice to send two of the cards that he pendulum summoned to grave. So he was just like at such a disadvantage. Um, I think he had ended up having three monsters on board, but I still had like the Savage Dragon and the Deco Talker live and the Nagirsu live. And I think I still had the Negate live. So there was a lot that he would have had to push through. Game three, um, he tries to play around the, the sphere mode. I'm not siding sphere mode. So... Instead of making Savage Dragon, he makes, um, oh gosh, what did he make? He made, uh, Omega. And, uh, made Omega, ended up with only the, uh, Heavenly Spheres and the, uh, Vortex Dragon. So, I knew all I had to do was push through the one negate because I did open up the Evenly. So, um, on my turn, he shotguns the Heavenly Spheres for some reason. I'm not completely sure why, but shotguns the heavenly spheres. I chain call by the grave. He negates the call by the grave. So I used the evenly match. It resolves. The only issue is I'm I'm left with so few cards, and I think I opened up double uh, shine ball, uh, which you know isn't horrible, but I was down a card because he had used the omega. So um, I was struggling there to begin with. And then uh, just wasn't able to put a big enough board together. Wasn't able to save the vortex with the evenly, like from the evenly. Um, I wasn't able to get over that. So what I did was I just made Ib um, to search for the world wand. Uh, just to kind of just hope that I live and set up for a second turn. Because I knew that I was like, I wasn't too far behind in card advantage. Uh, I think he had two cards in hand, plus the Omega and the Vortex. So I wasn't too far behind as far as that goes, but uh, it was pretty It was pretty interesting. You know, I, I just wasn't able to push through when it came down to it. Uh, he just put too much damage on board. Still had the one negate every turn with Vortex, so uh, I lost that. Round four, I played against Subterror. Uh, that deck is really, really strong. I was really surprised at how good that deck was. Um, I end up winning the dice roll there. Finally, man. Finally win my winning dice roll. Uh, make full board going first. Uh, just too much, you know, on board for him to deal with. Uh, game two, he goes first. I open up the evenly. I, dude, I love evenly matched. I don't know why I see that card that so much, but I see it, like, all the time. Um... Open up the evenly. Uh, he has the Fiendus for it. And at that point, I was like, dude, I'm not going to be able to play through this board. He is, you know, like the final battle. Uh, Guru face down. Hidden City is live. It's just like too much going on. I was like, I, I, I'm better off just trying to fight and uh, set up a big board game three. 
Game three, we were joking. Um, I, I, I went like full, full combo. I opened up the Crescendo in opening hand, so I ended up on the Savage Dragon, uh, World Legacy, World Chalice, Deco Talker, um, Galtea, and the Live Dingy Soon Grave uh, with the two negates. So it was a really, really good board, and I was just joking with him, and I was like, you know, if you have the <laughs> if you have the Super Poly, you've got it. Like, it you could just wipe my board uh, with that Super Poly, and it's like I I would have so much to fight through if he was able to Super Poly, but. First card, I, and we like joked about it before his turn started, and the first card he opens is Duality. And uh, I was like, alright, I'm good, man. Like, you, <laughs> use your six cards because, you know, no matter what you have, I'm going to have enough negates. I th as far as, I mean, as far as I was concerned, I was like, I'm only going to negate things that are super, super relevant. Uh, the decode talker prevents, you know, the, will, will assist me in any kind of targeting stuff. Um, and then, uh, from there, you know, we'll, we'll deal with the issues as they come. I felt really confident going to that. Um, he wasn't able to break the board. I went next turn, just pushed for a lot of damage. Uh, ended up winning that game. Uh, so I'm X1 at this point, 3-1. The final round, I go against the one undefeated True Draco player, um, who at this point, since being there, I've like never beaten. Uh, Draco was just a really, really strong deck. Uh, and and I hadn't really gotten this deck to where I wanted it to be against that. Like, I, so I had to, it took me a couple weeks to get this kind of where I wanted it. Um, I won the dice roll, which is just huge. Like, I didn't feel good. I, I, I wouldn't have felt good about that match if I didn't win the dice roll. Like, it's just fighting through flood, floodgates and several solemns. And like, it's just like... So much to try to have to deal with. Uh, so game one, I win the dice roll, make full board. Uh, he's not, I, I end up negating two, negating and destroying two diagrams. Uh, and he's not able to get to a monster, um, which was really, really nice. So uh, game two, we, hmm. Game two, he goes first, sets three back row, diagram, puts Inspector Border and Dynamite on board, and I open the evenly match. Dude, I and I, I was sitting there and I was like, dude, this is probably going to get solemn uh, because I, I wouldn't see somebody committing that much to the board without it. Uh, I, I don't know if he didn't think I was going to run solemn or that I, I was going to run evenly, um, but so he... I end up using the evenly, gets rid of everything. I, he doesn't have the solemn. I banish two warnings, uh, the monarchs erupt plus the dynamite and the uh, diagram. So he leaves the inspector border on board. Uh, something that I think this deck does really well is deals with inspector border. Uh, you have so many link ones uh, and so many normal monsters to be able to go into those link ones that you have ways to use effects. Uh, so I basically. Because I had used evenly match, I couldn't attack. But I had, or or I had uh, chosen of the world chalice in my hand plus a shine ball, uh, which I knew was enough to get me to a link two, and uh, so I end up going into. I use summon the shine ball, go into Imduck for the additional normal summon of a world chalice monster. Summon a uh, chosen, so I know there's my one effect for the turn. Uh, link away into Arm of the World Chalice, which is the level the Link Two monster uh, that actually gained it's two hundred two thousand attack and gains three hundred for each World Chalice monster in Grave. So he was at twenty six, but I had to pass. Uh, so on his turn, he drew the one card for turn, set it. I uh, wasn't sure what it was, but I drew drew for my turn, and um, I'm trying to think, I drew for my turn. I still had to deal with the inspector border, uh, attacked into the inspector border, I summoned Harpoor, attacked into the inspector border, attacked directly, main phase two went into uh, Nightmare Phoenix, uh, because at that point I just wanted to deal with cards. I didn't want him to have a face down Draco spell or trap and be able to tribute that with a top deck Ignis or a top deck Dynamite or whatever, you know, any type of, any type of Draco monster. Um, so I used the... Phoenix to pop the back row, and it's, uh, 
it's a, a solemn judgment. Uh, so he ends up, I pass to, he passes turn, comes back to me. Uh, I just start putting at that point, you know, he, he sets a card. I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, I draw, I, at this point I'm like, I felt comfortable going into a full board, uh, went full board, uh, ended up pushing in for damage and winning there. So that was my four one day. Uh, pretty exciting. The deck performed really well. If you guys want to see an updated deck profile, let me know. Um, there's some things that I want to change in here, and I'll go over that as well right now, just for you guys. Um, the side deck. I sided two reboots, and they didn't perform very well for me. I, I, I wasn't in situations where I was siding them in a whole lot. I ended up, uh... So I think I'd like to replace those with maybe Droll, um, just for situations where I know I'm going second. And the deck can perform well, um, and I think Droll is really good right now, especially if you're going second, because it allows you to slow down your opponent's play and you kind of impede that board. Like, your board's going to be not nearly as crazy. Um, so I think that's a change that I'd like to make. Um... I really, really, really think I need the second uh, crescendo. I found myself needing it a lot uh, in situations like after turn one and two, where you've already gone burned through your Babel and first crescendo. crescendo. Um, I just think that because you can't just like end games as fast as you used to be able to, uh, the second crescendo is really, really strong. Um, and I'm thinking, I think I should. Rem I'm thinking about taking out Transmodify for that. Uh, Transmodify has been pretty good for me. Uh, but it's like the issue is, is that tributing that monster is cost. So if it gets asked, you're just like SOL and you just lose that monster. Um, which I think is why it's one of the weaker cards in the main deck. Uh, everything else has been going really well. Uh, you know, I really like the double Phantom Knight Shea Brigadine. Uh, I think it's a pretty easy side out as well. Like if you're going to side in the Eradicators, Eradicator right now is so strong. It's probably my side deck MVP. Uh, using it against decks like uh, Striker or against decks like True Draco, if you can resolve it, you you're, you put yourself in such a good situation, and it's so easy with the Orcus combo to be able to get that monster with twenty five hundred more attack. Like even like uh, Galtea with like a resolved uh, Orcus Nightmare, like boosting it by wand or something like that and like you get so it's you can boost like most things in the deck to 2500 um so it's really strong i found myself using dingirsu offensively a lot today as well uh not just like with his like oh i'm gonna attach and then not have to die and like use it to save itself um really good and decode talker is just still so strong in the deck um but all in all it was a really good day they uh we ended up wanting to go to top or uh, to to uh, play out top cut, but I, I I wasn't trying to stay there. You know that's my biggest thing is when I go to locals, I'm really not trying to play like a regional on a Saturday afternoon. Like unless I'm at a regional, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna defer from. It's like you either if you play out first and second get seven packs seven packs. Or everybody, first and second get 10 packs, everybody else gets 3. Or if you split, everybody gets 7 packs. And it's like, I don't see why that's worth the extra 2 hours uh, for those additional 3 packs. Um, so, basically, the one dude wanted to play out. So, you just need, you, at that point, you need to play it out. Unless it's unanimous, uh, the, just, the store rules, you know, you gotta play out top cut. I was just like, dude, I'm leaving. Uh, I was playing against the eighth seed, right? And I guess top, no, it was top eight. Yeah, top eight. So I was playing against like seed eight and, uh, I was like, dude, you can have it if you play out and win this. <laughs> it's good for you. I just, uh, not trying to play a regional with our regional coming up soon. I don't want to get too burnt down on anything. So, uh, took what they gave me as three packs for losing first round, quote, for like losing first round in Top Gun. Um, I was totally okay with it. Like, I'm not super worried about it. I, I was happy with the way the deck performed. If you guys are looking for something interesting, uh, this deck has a lot of gas, guys. Like, 
it's really surprising what this deck can do, and it's really, really fun to play. Like, I'm a big World Chalice fan, uh, and finally getting to play it again is super, super awesome. So, um, if you guys like this video and want to see more Locals reports, uh, I can give that to you guys. You know, that's not an issue. I'm usually there every Saturday. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or if you guys want to see the updated deck profile with the side deck in it, uh, let me know. I can make that happen as well. And as always, guys, remember to subscribe to join the revolution today. This is Slend Revolution X signing out, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.